Some Minecraft farms are good. Some Minecraft farms are bad. This Minecraft farm you need in your Minecraft world. Yes, I know. I am wearing your sun on my head right now. Deal with it. So what we're going to be building here is a bamboo farm. And what's great about this farm is it could be attached to just a chest, which is just an output. Or you could link it up to a furnace system and have it as a super spelter system. This is a super powerful farm and you need it in your world. What's lucky as well is it's super easy to set up. Everything that you need to build this farm is in my hot bar right now. You need one chest, one hopper, one piece of mud, one bamboo, one glowstone. You don't really need a glowstone, but it's nice to have it to light it up. One piston, one observer, one stone, and one redstone dust. Now this farm is tileable, meaning that you can build it on as long as you want. You can build it on into the distance. It doesn't matter how long it is, but every tile you have, you'll need another one of these lot. You won't need another chest. That's just if you want to output it into a chest, but if you want to tile it as long as you can, then you'll need one of each of these. Now the way you start your farm is wherever you want your output to be, you can build that first chest and then place a hopper behind that with a piece of mud on top. And what's so great about mud is because it's not a full block i'll place a full block next to it like this close them as you can see i dip down a block and that means that when blocks get broken above mud they can get picked up through hoppers through them. As you saw, I just picked up that piece of glowstone through the mud. And that's why we can use that to place our bamboo on top. Because, of course, bamboo can then be placed on top. We got that bamboo placed on top of our mud now. Then come behind and place your glowstone if you want a lighting block there. You don't need a lighting block, but I'd advise it just so you can actually see what's going on inside. Again, you don't have to. You can just use a piece of stone. There aren't any spawnable blocks, so you don't need to worry about that in particular. Then a piston on top of that facing towards the bamboo. Then an observer with the red dot on the back and the face on the front. Look at that funny little face. So grumpy it's going to be in a farm for the rest of its life. Don't worry, buddy. It's a good farm, so you don't have to... So you, so you got nothing to worry about. Then behind the piston, you want to come and place another block and then place a piece of redstone on top of that. So as you can see, the bamboo is going to grow and then it's going to get to the top and then that's going to be detected. It's going to break it and then the bamboo falls down. As you can see, it didn't get collected properly because there's nothing around it. So if we place some glass around it like this and build it up and then we place the blocks then they can fall down and be collected by the hopper and go into our chest. There's going to be a tiny amount of lossage where blocks fall on top of the bamboo but it's not going to be too noticeable plus this farm produces bamboo so fast it's not really going to matter. And as I said, this farm is tileable. As you can see, we've made it a little bit longer here. We can come behind and see all the redstone is hooked up together. That doesn't matter. But then as these blocks grow, it gets detected. It all gets broken and it falls down. Look at that funny random tick moment there. And then we can see it all gets collected in the chest down at the bottom. You're now saying, Sam, this is great. How can I link it up to my furnace system? I'm going to show you that right now. So you've got your furnace system and you want to add the farm in and you have to do it a little bit different. Now this is because you don't want the bamboo to end up in this top of minecart here just because that will clog up the system and it'll stop the furnace from working. So what you want to do is set up your own minecart track down at the bottom. You're going to need powered rails, normal rails and minecart with hoppers. So you want to extend these bottom two blocks on a little bit like so because otherwise the powered rails won't be able to work. Now as you can see you've got to watch out when doing this otherwise that might happen and you don't want that to happen. You can avoid this by placing in the second block first and then doing it all the way to the end now you can do normal rails here if you want or you can do powered rails it depends on how long this thing's going to be but using normal rails in a really short one shouldn't really be anything to worry about so we can put that to the side if you want or do that there or whatever redstone system you've got hooked up for this as long as it doesn't interfere with the hopper and then you can put your bike cart hopper down at the bottom as you can see that will go across there and that's going to be collecting up our bamboo instead now because we have the minecart hopper you don't don't have to use mud you can use sand or you can use dirt because the minecart hopper can pick up blocks through those two blocks so you can use those if you want but we're still going to use mud just because and then just carry on doing the same thing as you were doing before build the farm exactly the same as you did the last time but the one thing that you do have to worry about in a farm like this again is make sure to have blocks in front of the in front of the bamboo because again you don't want these blocks ending up in the hopper system going into the to be smelted area because otherwise that's just going to plug it up and again you don't want that to happen so just set up your farm like you did over there but for this bigger version and this should work all the same as you can see that goes up 
it all gets collected by the hopper minecarts. You can see the hopper minecart going across and it collects all of it. We can come down here and if we check in the hopper minecart, there shouldn't be any because it should have put all of the bamboo into the different furnaces. And as the bamboo grows more and more, it will be collected more by the hopper minecart, collected and put into the different furnaces. If you're worried about the bamboo getting clogged up, you can always do the bamboo being collected, put into another chest and then have that chest being picked up by the hopper minecart and put in it just that could always add a little bit of extra storage for the bamboo so there's no overflow as you don't want to lag out your world with this but this is one way of doing it and as always i always say try and get creative with what you're doing this isn't set a set in stone model you can do whatever you want with it be creative and have fun with it i really hope this video helps you guys out i hope it inspired you hope it helps out in your world and if it did help you out please don't forget to support the video by dropping a like and making sure to subscribe you can find a world download and schematic for this farm on my patreon as well which i'll have linked down below in the description thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace